morning everyone and welcome to a very special edition of Get Ready With Me slash my morning routine slash hair and makeup tutorial on a cruise. That's right, this is a cruise edition. Um, so this cruise was so much fun. My favorite part of the morning was ordering breakfast in bed and since food is all inclusive you could order as much as it is you wanted all day long if you wanted. I love to read in the morning, um, definitely on vacation, I don't really watch TV. Eating my eggs and bacon while reading a book is amazing and of course freshly squeezed orange juice. I highly recommend this book. Stephen King, Dr. Sleep, a continuation of The Shining. And then after I eat some healthy bananas and read my book, then I go on my phone before uh, going back to sleep because it's vacation. <laughs> um, and then I jumped in the shower. I was just washing my body, so I started with my Feel Like Trish Exfoliating Body Polish, which made my skin nice and hydrated and got the dead skin off. And then some Crest Body Wash that I was almost out of. <laughs> Okay, this uh, mirror I got at Sharper Image, and I love it. Is it a magnifying mirror, and you can just see everything, which is perfect for applying your makeup. So I was inspired by the ocean to do a mermaid look, sort of a soft look, and I am using my MAC Studio Sculpt Foundation, it is a 2014 beauty favorite for sure, with my beauty blender, and I'm just blending it all over my face for a little coverage. Then I just dug into my Travel Victoria's Secret bag and used some of my favorite translucent powder, the Rocky Horror Picture Show by MAC Translucent Powder to be exact, and did that all over my face to have a mattifying effect. Um, then I am priming my eyelids with Painterly Paint Buck by MAC and using my favorite palette that I used this entire cruise, which is my Dior Holiday Palette, using the pretty lilac colors. It has gorgeous frosty colors with hints of shimmer. I'm using the lilac, the silver, and the deep purple. I'm starting with the lightest color, the silver, and putting it on my eyelids and also my eyebrow underneath my eyebrow arches, and then I used the lilac to have as a blending color, and then I just deepened it up with the deep purple, just for a little dimension, still giving it a light look to the eyes, but a little bit dramatic and blend, 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 blend. Then I used my Too Faced Brow Envy palette and I just filled in my brows with a shadow brush because I didn't have my brow brush, so I just improv. And now I'm doing a mini dance and singing break because I have to listen to music and be crazy when I'm doing my makeup just to leaven things up. Then I'm taking the same deep purple and just lining my lower lash line with it to give it a little pop, pop. My Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, love this stuff. Even with the boat rocking, I was still able to get a straight line. Easy to use, even for those of us who are not that skilled in liner. And then I winged it out for a little sass. And then I took my Clinique Liner just and tight lined the bottom of my eyes. Just to kind of, you know, make my blue eyes bluer. Great tip if you have light eyes. Line them in black and it will really make them stand out. Then this is just a MAC mascara, and I'm coating my lashes, and I'm going to conceal those under eye bags <laughs> with some NARS vanilla and blend it out with my beauty blender. And I did not opt for eyelashes this time around because I didn't have them. And now the NARS holiday cheek palette, I used Laguna for my bronzer. To which I then finished up the look with A Little Shimmer of Hope by Gerard Cosmetics. And that was pretty much it for my makeup look. Complete. Now onto the hair. The only curling wands I brought with me was this Titan 3 set by Numi. And I love this set so much. Not only is it pretty pink, but it has just enough different curling wands, but not too many that's going to weigh your bag down and I'm just going to be using the large barrel for these curls to give it nice soft waves and in an upcoming get ready with me I do use the little one for an updo that'll come up in a couple days for formal night but now I'm just going to wear my hair down because it is freshly washed so now I'm brushing it out to get out all the tangles so then I just take my hair and divide it into sections. You can take larger sections since you are using the big barrel, or I'm using the big barrel rather. And I'm just letting them fall because I want loose curls, sort of just an effortless texture to my hair. And this it goes by really quickly. You can get, you know, your whole head done in like 10 to 15 minutes, depending on your length and whatnot. But it gives that really pretty, just soft curls. I think they're very feminine. Um, but what's great about this flat iron, you can hold it if you want a little bit of a tighter curl because the side tends to fall a little more. But what's great about this flat iron is that it will hold your curls not only all day, whether they're tight or loose, because you can wear loose curls and have them be tight, but it'll actually last you for a couple days. So you don't have to wash your hair, which is better for your hair and, you know, better for your time commitments because, <laughs> you know, doing your hair is a little bit of a chore, but, um, you know, 
do it once every few days and then it's pretty easy peasy. And now I'm looking like a little sumo wrestler. Chained up my music station once again and finishing off my sections of hair. As I get a little closer to the top and a little closer to my face, I take a little bit smaller pieces and I hold it down just a little longer just to ensure that my best curls are put forward. <laughs> And Dume gave me some uh, new discount codes for you guys. New Year, new discount codes. 40% off the entire new me site using the code Fishy Mermaid, <laughs> which I think is the cutest code ever. And they do offer free shipping to the U.S. So if you're uh, thinking about getting one of these sets, the Titan 3 or any other new me find, I would get it now because 40% off is a rarity, especially on the entire site. So I love these curls. As you can see, they're nice and soft with the little Titan barrel. So just be sure to check the description box for all codes and links and all that fun stuff. So then to finish off the top of my hair, I actually take the round brush and my new me blow dryer, which I forgot the little piece at home that I love so much that smooths it out. But I've had this dryer again for years. Bought it myself many, many years ago. Best blow dryer, best investment ever. And then I plugged in my new me Invoke straightener, which is always sold out. So if it's there now, get it because I've been trying to get one for my mom and my sister forever. And they are still sold out, but I love them because of the nice, long smoothness of the blades. And that's pretty much it. Just finishing off with a little shine to keep the frizzies down and to keep it shiny. And that's pretty much my look. <laughs> a little Bottega, the nap. And this was the typical OOTD for me on my cruise. Uh, tank top was from Etsy, denim shorts from Victoria's Secret. Flip flops are locals that were found in Hawaii. No accessories aside from the Dior sunglasses on my face. These curls were amazing. I am in the middle of the ocean. It was salty and humid. Yeah, I was able to wear these curls from day to night. And you'll see for dinner, I dressed up as Rose. And I have a separate video for that, which I will annotate somewhere on the screen. But nice, soft, vintage curls. And that's it for me. Thanks for watching. I want to say hi to Rick Moranis. And until next time, here with kisses from Little Baby Fishies. Mwah! Bye, guys.